ready. It's time for me to do my story. I'm just so ready. I get tired of sitting in that trunk, laying in that trunk, and I'm just dreaming. Well, what are you dreaming about, Chesley? Oh, I'm dreaming getting to these Sunday afternoon tell this Bible story. I got a good one. It's a joke, Noah. A fun? Really? Yes. Oh, Chesley, this is quite a story today. I'm glad to get out of that trunk and tell me. Oh, I've got to sing the theme song. This gospel train is chugging the trunk, chugging the trunk, it's chugging the trunk. This gospel train is chugging the trunk, chugging to the glory land. And get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And Chesley, who needs to get on you get on board this train. You see the ones that love the Lord are going to serve thee, and that's the ones that are going to heaven. And Chesley, heaven is a wonderful place. And I mean, is it going to be a happy place? It is happiness all the time. Praising and worshiping the Lord, the one that loves us and, and saved us and keeps us every day. You know, I tell you something, he is the greatest one. He is the greatest one, and we're so glad that we serve him. And I noticed you're flirting. Oh, yeah, I know there's some girls out there. Oh, that's right. There are some girls out there, but we've got a Bible story to tell. And I tell you what, it's a good one. It's got a long title. It does have a very long title. It's called, It's a Joke, Noah. A Flood? Really? He said, yes. You know what's in all of that? Well, Chesley, worked. this Bible story is taken from in Genesis chapter 6. But just is quite a story, you know, they never had any floods or anything. And so, but the people had become very, very wicked. And you didn't, you didn't serve the Lord. They didn't serve the Lord. But there was one family that did. It was Noah. And he had won all of his family. You know, some folks can't do that. It's really hard sometimes to, get to reach your own family. So I think this is really commendable that, you know, I tell you what, they saw he served the Lord. He did serve the Lord, and they wanted to serve the Lord. And he believed, that the family believed what he believed. He believed when he heard from God. And I tell you what, he did her lead, and he tells the truth. Just We know that our God tells the truth. Sometimes his timing is not what we want. That, that you know what? He knows all things. He knows all things. The Bible says he knows the end from the beginning. Ooh, he needs, he's the Lord even happens before it even happens. He knows what's going to happen. He knows every detail about it. So we can trust him. But what had happened, Noah was a wonderful man of God. He served the Lord with all of his heart. You know, I tell you what, God could depend on, God could depend on him. But you know, the Lord was wonderful and loving and kind. He met the needs of the people. That they were wicked. They were wicked, Chesley. Why would... And I, I'm asking you, Juan. Well, Chesley, I, why do you think, why would they do that? And I think it was, what is that stuff that they can get? Uh, well, I think you might talk about rebellion. You know, you know, do their own thing. Do, do, yeah, they wanted to do their own thing. That they wanted to be blessed. They, yeah, they wanted to be, have all the blessings and good things. But the Lord had spoken to Noah. He had, had seen uh, Noah... Uh, it really made an impression on the Lord. He saw that he was faithful to God and he, he wasn't doing all that sinning. He wasn't doing all that sinning like those people. He was working for the Lord and trusting in the Lord. And the Lord said, here's a man I can count on. But he said, I see that there's so much wickedness. Did you want to serve God? Oh, Chesley, the, the Lord noticed that they just had their minds on evil all the time, that they didn't pay any attention to God. So they wouldn't listen to him in any way. And, and so he's going to do something. He's going to spank him. Is he going to spank him? He's got something drastic planned. There's been so much. He said there was wickedness everywhere. And he said, I'm going to send a flood of waters that's going to wipe out everybody. No. Oh, what well, did Noah? He had a plan for Noah. He said, Noah, I said, I want you. He was going to, Noah was going to be preaching the truth and that there was going to be a great flood coming. You know, what's what, 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 they don't believe it? Or will they do it? What, will they or will they? Will they won't? Won't they believe it? Well, Chesley, you know, to hear that this flood was going to destroy everything on the earth. And so it was important that they pay attention. And they said it was the impossible. And I, they just began to laugh at Noah when he told them. And God had told him, I want you to build an ark. And everyone that will get into the ark, they will be safe. You know what's an ark? Well, it's like a giant boat. It's this huge, huge boat. And it was, it was gonna, they were going to have put animals in it. And they were, it's going to get stinky. Well, it might get stinky, but that was going to be the safe place. The only thing that was going to be afloat. And he said, told him how the animals he would take in. All the animals of the whole earth. No, not all of the animals but some of each kind. But God had the plans, and he go. He even told Noah how to build it. And it's going to, it's going to think, and how's he going to build it? Where's his workshop? Where his workshop? Chesley, this, this giant boat, this ark it was called, is going to be so big, and, and where's he going to put it? Well, Chesley, he's going to be out there building it, and who's going to help him? Well, Chesley, I don't know who all is going to help him, but I know very likely. And I think his sons, unless they wanted his son and their families. That's right. They could have all. But Chesley, a wonderful thing was, as Noah began to preach righteousness about living for God, and so they, they, they didn't get drowned in, in that flood. They, he didn't want them to get drowned, and God didn't either. 
but he wanted to get rid of all this wickedness and just like start all over again. And so Noah got busy. God gave him the plans. And so Noah followed the plans. And there are some people to believe that angels even helped him maybe. Well, Chesley, I don't know who all helped him, but I know that. Now, I know someone that did. Well, who did? And God did. I think you're right. God was helping him, giving him the ideas. Well, Chesley, it came time you know they had they had to get busy they had to get all these plans together and had to begin building and i know what happened i think there was a lot of mocking you know i tell you what i i, I think what else was saying is what else the parents well the parents just they had a big obligation they need to get ready and get their families ready then i see those things laughing and knocking i think they were laughing and mocking but Chelsea, I'm concerned about their children. What about when they, when their children ask about it, and they told him what Noah was saying and what Noah's children was saying, what you know, what his family, Noah's family, his sons was saying. And, and I think they said it's just a joke. That I really believe it could have been that the parents just said, "Oh, that's a joke." Have you ever seen it rain like that? Have you ever seen a flood? And the kids could say honestly, "No, they hadn't seen one." And so they said he just lied. Uh, Chesley, they did. They saw it was just a lie, and they, they just mocked about it. I believe they made fun. Did, did I something that's very serious? It was very serious. Yes, it was. And Noah took it so serious, he did exactly what the Lord had said. It was a huge, huge task, and it took years to build. But finally, the time came, and <laughs> you know, it's starting to rain. It wasn't raining yet. It was it thundering and lightning. I, I don't know that it was thundering and lightning yet. Possibly not. But the Bible had, came the time that Noah had gotten all the animals in. And some people believe that the Lord just caused the animals to, to come. You know, it did make it a lot easier. Did they going to be cowboys? Well, they were, might, might have had been something like cowboys going out and rounding them up. But the Lord helped them. Some, uh, there are some who believe that the, or the animals just begin to come toward the ark because God was drinking. I, and it could have been that God did that. But just the time came, they got the animals in the ark and they had things. And what, what, what are they going to do? going to be gardens in there? Well, Chelsea, I don't know about a gardens in there that's... Uh, uh, possibly it was large enough that maybe it could have some garden plots. I don't know. I don't know all of God's plans. You know what we're going to know when you get to heaven? When we get to heaven, I think that's when we'll know all of the details about how, about the ark and all of that. Maybe we, we won't we won't be. Uh, we won't be saying, oh, I don't know anything about that. He said, I believe we're going to know. We're going to know those things. Because the Lord's going to let you know it. And the Lord will let us know it, what he did. But you know, Chesley, what they did as the people would say, as the Lord told Noah, he'd get in the ark. Well, it was Noah and his family. That was all would come in. Nobody else would come in. He knew the the kids wanted to go. The other kids might have going to their parents is it's just a joke. Nothing. I think they really did say, it's a joke, Noah. A flood? Really? He said, yes, there's going to be a flood. Hear me. It's not just for you, but it's your whole family. You all need to come to safety. Yeah, it's just a joke. I don't believe it. But now, Chesley, I tell you what the Lord had said about this whole thing. He said, I'm sorry I've made man on the earth. He said, and he was grieved in his heart. And the Lord said, I will blot out man who I've created from the face of the land, from man to animals to creeping things and the birds of the sky, for I'm sorry that I have made them. But Noah found grace. He found favor in the eyes of the Lord. That was Genesis 6 and 6 through 8. You know, so Noah was God's man. Is God still looking? He is still looking for people, men and women, boys and girls that love him and serve him. And they don't take living for the Lord as just a joke. It's just something they do maybe on Sunday. But it's people that love the Lord. You want to be like him and serve him. That's right. We want to be like him and serve him. One of the days he's one of these days he's going to come. It's going to be time for us to leave this earth. And we, if we serve the Lord, then we go live with him. Then we, that's why we go live with him. But actually, back to our story, God told Noah, your family, get in the ark. And everybody that you could convince. And this is, he said, it was just my family. They got in. And the Bible says that, that the Lord closed the door. And then what happened? Chelsea, I think those people out there begin to laugh and joke and say, he's so crazy. It didn't rain and it didn't do nothing. That's what they were thinking. It's just silly. He, what's he doing in there? That's so goofy. But you know, Chelsea, then I think, yeah, I know they started thunder. Chesley, there might have been some claps of thunder. I don't know. There'd never been anything like that. The Lord had watered the earth until now. And so here, Chesley, all of a sudden now, when it began, it really, the, the storm hit and the flood came and it began to rain. And then, and then, and then they wanted in the ark. They wanted in. They wanted in. Yes, they wanted in, Chesley, but they couldn't get in. God had closed the door and Noah could not open it. They couldn't get in. The flood was so bad. And Chelsea, those people, they didn't tell their children the truth. They didn't tell their children the truth. They just thought it was a joke. Chelsea, there are people today that think that we're talking about uh, getting right with God and serving Him and, 
asking him to forgive us of our sins and let him help us and we walk with the Lord and we want to be like him. We can we be just like him? Just that we fail many times, but what do we do? We come to Jesus and we, we want to be with Jesus you know, all during the day we talk to him, we read his word, we want to be like him. And then he'll too, that helps us to be more like him. We know who, what he's like. We know his character. We know what he wants us to be. And so it's just helpful to, to read. It is very helpful to read the Bible and pray, talk to him. That's like we talk to our friends and we get closer. That's the way it is when you read God's word. You learn more about him and what he's like. We call it his character, what he's like. We know that he's, we know he's good and he's kind. He don't put up with sinning. He doesn't put up with sinning. But he could take that sin out of our life and help us to be like him. But Chesley, it happened that the door was closed and the flood came. And there was only one safe place. And that was to be in the ark. You know, God had provided the way. Then you had choice. Then you had choice. The choice was to live uh, for the Lord and get in that ark. And so that man Noah, he was a wise man. Noah was a wise man. He made the wise choice to build that ark. And it was a place of safety for anyone that would go in. And justly, that's just like today. There are people that don't believe it. People say, well, I think, you know, God's just so good. You know, it's just, you know, everybody gets to go in. <laughs> Not if you don't love him and serve him. Well, if you don't love him and serve him, if you don't want to be around him now, would you want to be around him later? No. And so what happens? It's up to us to make the choice that what we're going to do. We get to be examples. We get to be examples and talk about the Lord, love him and serve him. We want to be like Jesus, and he's wanting us to lead the way. And not be like everyone else, not just follow the crowd, but we're going to serve the Lord and love him with joy and gladness. And no, it's not a joke that one day we will die. The Bible said it is appointed unto man who wants to die. He entered in the, judgment, the judgment, but it said the wages of sin is... is it's death, but the gift of God is eternal life. No, so you can hear you got a choice. We got a choice, Chesley. And he doesn't designate and say, You are going to you're designated for heaven, you're designated for hell. It's not like that. We get to make the choice. Did we do it right down here? We have to do it right down here while we're still alive. Chesley, I'm so glad the Lord made a safe place for us to go to heaven. You know, a safe place now is where is it? we don't have an ark. Well, Jesus is like our ark. He's safety. That's the safe place. And we love him and we serve him daily. And one of these days, you get to live with him forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, Chesley. That's right. What a great thing to know. We have that opportunity now. And so let's do it. Let's live for Jesus. That's right, Chesley. Let's live for Jesus. That's the happy life. That's the good life. It is no joke. One day, we're going to face the Lord. I want it to be in peace and quietness because I've accepted him as my Savior. <laughs> Those that don't, it's a very different thing. It's a very sad thing to be forever, to go cast away, to live with the old devil forever and ever in a burning hell. So, justly, it happened. You know, God told me about corruption and all the crime and sin that was going on because all of the sin was there. But he had a bright spot there. There was a man named Noah that served him. And so you can do it. We can do it, Chesley. You can do it. I can do it. We can be faithful because we have the Lord to help us. And it will happen one day. It's like the door will be shut that on our opportunity. So now, while we're living, it's that time. That's our opportunity to live for Jesus. Oh, I tell you what, that's the choice I would make. That's the choice I made, Chesley, back when I was eight years old, and it's still my choice. I made my choice forever since the world and God's dear son. That's right, Chesley. The song says, I've made my choice forever twixt the world and God's own son, and I choose Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesse, that concludes our story. I'm so glad Jesus is our safe place. We just have to accept him, that's all. I choose Jesus. So right now, you're, you're ready to go to bed. No, no, I'm not ready. I thought you not. Oh, no, I'm not ready, Chesley. We're getting ready to go to church tonight. Well, you can take me. No, Chesley, you're not going to church tonight. You're getting over there going to the trunk. You know, I'm not even sleepy, but Chesley, you're stalling, too. And so... Uh, I'm putting you to bed. Tell everybody goodbye. I don't think it's so good when you're doing stuff in your trunk. Uh, Chesley, that trunk is not nearly that bad. Did you sleep in it? No, I didn't sleep in it. But I know it's a nice trunk, and I know you're stalling. So tell everybody goodbye. You know, you always catch me. Okay. I love you, kids. Do, do, do you see the nettles? Yes, Chesley, they see your medals. They know about them. You going to thank Kai for your medals? Thank you for my medals, Kai. You earned them, and I learned them. That's right. He earned them. You're wearing them. All right. We'll see you all next Sunday afternoon, the Lord willing. We love you very much. Goodbye.